Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. This is one of a fantastical game that is a wonder among many of how it stays up so well on the number one, on the charts, on any charts really. Um, but it really is an amazing game. I'm not surprised that it stayed up there. Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War came out, um, I forgot, it was in the UK, it came out and it was number two for, for the first time ever in any year Call of Duty has ever came out. That was the first time they ha it has not taken the number one spot, which is very impressive on Assassin's Creed part for holding down the number one spot. And I was extremely impressed when I heard that news. But I was also kind of saddened because that's the end of a, a big run that Call of Duty had. And Call of Duty has always been like a very huge game. And it's kind of crazy to see that it's not doing that anymore. Even though their games are really hyped up. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that. I don't know why, but I'll see you after we fast travel. Okay, we are finally about to load back. Oh my god, it loads again. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Alright, um... I'm supposed to report back to Randavi. Or Randvi, not Randavi. What the hell am I talking about? Oh my god. But... Oh god, that burp came out of nowhere. Um, I am drinking a lot of carbonation right now, so if I burp, I am sorry. Um... Okay, now we're back here and we can actually report back to her. Hey, what's up, girl? We did your mission. Actually, I'll keep that on just in case I need to react to some stuff. I'll be like, Oh my god! I didn't know that they were gonna die! That's not my actual voice, by the way. We are allied with the Danes of Granderbridgeshire. Their Jarlskona, Soma, has pledged an oath. Well done, Eivor. These early victories will <clears throat> pay off well. Not everything went as planned. Good people died. We have their oaths, but not their admiration. A pity. But we have what we need. But we have what we need. Okay. Eivor, a word of note. Someone has set up shop outside. A trader, I believe. Oh, nice. When okay. When you can, ask him his business here. He seems to represent a larger guild. The child's eyes, or the eyeless children? Eyeless children? No, that cannot be right. Ask him yourself. Okay, cool. Um. All right. So now we try to uh, visit the merchant. Okay. Or speak to the visiting merchant. So I am hoping this is something that happens often in the game, but not too often. Because then there'd be no point. Um, so I'm guessing that this is a guy that comes in and you get like special stuff from him every time he does visit. Which would be really cool. A new customer. Nice. Whether I am or not, What's up, G? I am the one you'll speak of. Randry tells me you are merchants. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like hello, a cut, G. Hello. He has are no hair. This I am. I speak for him. We come on behalf of a thousand eyes, vendors of uncommon goods and exotic treasures from all corners of the world. If you need it, we have it. If we don't have it, you don't need it. Such is our pledge. I see. And is this child with you? Child? Child. What? My friend, you look upon the master of the thousand eyes, the head of our guild. A legend. What? A hero of the people and the richest merchant west of the Indus. You look upon Redda. He means you? He does, Eivor Wolfkist. It is a pleasure to meet you at last. This is weird. How do you know? How have you come to know me? The thousand eyes have one thousand years as well, and word travels fast. And Interesting. What is it I can do for you, or you for me. It's quite simple. For a fee, I can connect you to a shadow market that stretches from the dunes of Egypt to 
the wars of England. What sort of fee? It varies with the item, but there is a small hitch. Through this market, all prices are paid in opal. Interesting. Dang. What strange color it has. May I hold it? You may hold it and keep it, Eivor. A gift from Reda for your immeasurable hospitality. He just puts it away right, here, right away. Browse what wares I have on offer. Okay, now we get to see what he has. Okay. That shield looks sick. We need a lot more opal though. Nothing for now? No matter. My selection changes daily. You will soon find something you like. Now that you are friends with me, you are also a friend of the Thousand Eyes as well. And what does this mean? Observe my outfit, not the scarf I wear. As you travel, you will meet many of my associates clad in these same vestments. These are my people, my other eyes. Cool. Seek them out for trade or contracts. Oblige them, and you will earn a tidy sum. And I might even feel inclined to reward you myself. Interesting offer. Good to hear. Now, if you will excuse us, my apprentice has a tent to secure. We're staying for a while, I suppose. Oh, yes, and you needn't even thank me. We would be honored to call this our home. Good day. <clears throat> okay, well, he kind of just invited himself into our little area. Um, Viking for a hire. See, I want to stick to the main quests right now so we can get a little farther in the main quests. But we do need to upgrade the skills because I haven't done that in a while. I have eight points. Holy shit. Okay, um, we'll do melee resistance, then I want to do some stuff with this, range damage. Oh, we can upgrade our health finally in this. I think I'm just going to post all of my points in this section. Oh, those are almost connected. Nice. Okay, I just had to cough a little bit. It is not Corona. All right, what's up, G? Hi, Thum. Randwi asked me to see you about finding friends in the cities of England. That's right. London, Jorvik, Winchester. All three are infested by members of the same order to which Kjotfeber, but their reach extends much further than this. Of all the lands on Earth, I believe England is the most overrun. Do they cause here the same turmoil Kjotve caused in Norway? Not just turmoil. They spread a plague of delusion, teaching men and women to abase and abuse themselves in exchange for power. You have strong feelings about this. Of course. This is the sole purpose of the Hidden Ones. To liberate the body and spirit of man from any unnatural shackles. But we have not operated in England for over four centuries. Since the fall of the Roman Empire, the Hidden Ones have not had a presence here. This absence has given the Order of the Ancients ample room to grow and thrive. Our task will not be an easy one. But with a bureau, Basim and I could begin our work. If you have the time and spare resources to build one, we would be most grateful. I will see what I can do. I will see what I can do. 400. Alright, so we're just gonna go raid a whole bunch of shits. Alright. Off we go! Wow, and they just ran randomly up here. Need to row our way out. Must grow Open the walks. sail. Sail is ready when needed. Strike up a tune. More yeah. sail. Yeah. Which one's closer? This one? No, definitely not that one. What the hell? All right, we're gonna raid this place. Probably gonna run these people over in the water too, which is gonna be fantastical. 
We have raided this place before. I wasn't even able to get everything from here. Okay, let's see if this shit works. Alright. I hope this works this time. I'll be very upset if it doesn't. What's up, G? Oh shit, I shot my sh <laughs> I've shot my freaking teammate dude. Oh, that does do a lot more damage. Oh shit. For some reason I forgot how to play. Oh shit! That's right. Booker. Oh, what the hell, dude? That's right. Eat my dick, dude. Okay, can somebody open this with me? Oh my god, it's barricaded from the other side, just like last time. What's up, G? Oh my god, dude. Am I not able to dodge anymore? What the hell, dude? Oh my god, are you kidding me right now? This is a freaking game, dude. It's a great game, it's just very glitchy. They haven't even put out any updates for it either. That's right, chop his dick off. Oh shit. Nope. Oh my god, you dickhole. Okay, no, freaking die, bro. Oh, that's how you open it. What the hell? I'm a freaking dumbass. I spent like five episodes trying to figure that out. <clears throat> Get out of here, dude. Oh, that's like okay. There we go. Now we can build a bakery and stuff. That's all I wanted. Raid completed, baby. It's the first one we've completed, like all the way through. <laughs> Trophy earned, a rampage, baby. Take command. Alright, push away. There you go. Good job, you guys. Alrighty, now we're going back home. Oh, right after we ran into somebody and they just died. Oh, never mind, they didn't die. They both just died. And they fell in the water.
There's home. Okay. So we're about to get to settlement level two. <coughs> We just need to build something else. Hold here. Hold on. <laughs> All right. So we got the, we got the, um, I cannot speak. We got the materials to build a, what is this? A hidden one's bureau? No, I don't want to build that. Aid me. Be my eyes. Oh hell yeah, a tattoo shop. Good day. I need new tattoos. What's up, G? There's no sign here either. What the hell? Do I have to build the hidden one's bureau? I guess I have to, because it's the only one popping up. Alright. We're building it. Building complete. Oh my god, I'm almost at two. I'm not even at... I'm not even at two yet? Okay, these are the assassins, so it's a good thing we did that. Okay, it makes sense now. will make a fine space for my work, Eivor. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, if your work benefits us, I will see that you keep it for as long as you live among us. I believe it will, for we have common cause against our enemy. They have dug their claws deep into England. Eradicate them where they are strongest, and the alliances you seek will be far easier to come by. In London, they now operate without restraint. If you were to eradicate them, the city would be in your debt. I will talk with Ranmi about your idea. Get her thoughts. Good. Yet, before you do, there is something else. A gift I wish to share. A gift? I cannot show you here. Will you walk with me? I will. You gonna on. show me your dick, dude? Because I don't want to see that. I have one. I know what they look like. I hear heaviness, you breathing, Hyphen. Does your wound still trouble you? It does, I'm afraid. There is a pain in my chest for which I have no remedy. Rest easy, then. So long as your mind stays sharp, you will recover. Of course. Though I Why am is he walking like he's so pissed? You would risk your health and your life to That's please Basil. That I do not understand. NBA Youngboy fans you walk. Do. When we first arrived, I noted a shadow of suspicion in your eyes. A doubt. A wariness. Is that a question? No. Only an observation. What are you gonna show me, dude? Why are we going in a boat? Are you well enough to stay at this boat? I am. Have no worry. It is only prolonged stresses that exhaust me. My energy runs low rather quickly. Holy shit, dude. Why is this guy so quick at this? What is this gift you wish to give me? It will not come from me. It is a gift you must give yourself. More riddles. What fun you are. Let me say it another way. My gift is not for giving or taking. It is a way of living. But still no clearer. It is a thing better demonstrated than described. And I will wait. Forgive my jest. This gift we call a leap of faith. It is one of our brotherhood's most sacred rites. Yes! It's not a tool we use against our enemies, but an act we embrace to strengthen our resolve. Like your so where is it? It centers our minds. Do I have to follow him? Our hands and okay, good. Fear from our hearts. Oh my god, why are you walking so slow now, G? We are climbing a rather steep hill. There it is again. 
The shadow of a doubt. Nearly there. Our destination is there. I suspect you mean to throw me from this cliff, is that it? Please tell me if I'm near the mark. And spoil the surprise? Where are we going, bro? Perform Can't you run or something? Faith, you must give yourself over to something greater. The gods? Yourself. Embrace the hope that death will not come before you are prepared to meet it. Believe this. Oh my god, why do you have to walk all the way over nothing. here? Our deaths are prefigured, weaved into the fabric of the world. To fear this would be a waste of worry and tears. Oh my god, G. Come on. Good job. You can walk. Come on. Good job. Wow. We've done the leap of faith before. Is he going to teach us how to do it like the traditional way? Alright, what are you going to tell us? I will leap first. On my word, you must follow. Lean into your faith, into your strength. And take flight. You want me to jump from here? Yes. I would sooner grow wings and fly away. Thank you for the lesson, but... Uh... Wait! And watch! Hide them! See? If he can do it, we can do it. Hide them! Pig-headed fool! Are you injured? You see? My faith grew stronger than my fear! And that loam... Oh, we did it the traditional way. Let's go. Yeah! A perfect fall. And how did it feel? You spoke true. It was madness and vigor. A purging of fear. A gift I give myself. I see that now. Thank you for showing me the way. Of course. And thank you, Eivor, for hearing me out. You called this leap of faith a sacred rite. Do all hidden ones practice this same ritual? As far as I know, it is a rite of initiation that dates back to just before the birth of the Christian Jesus. Are you hoping to initiate me? I might try if I believed you would Dude, he's so quick! But what the that hell? That is not my purpose in England. Basim and I are hunting larger prey. The Order of Ancients. Yes. You remember the medallion we took from Chiotre's body? That is their symbol. They are a plague. One we hope to purge from this world. Like us, they act in secret. But their aim is to rule the world, not free it from unnatural fetters. The desire to rule is not unique to this order. Sigurd and I want the same. A land to call our own, and the honor that comes with it. Do not compare yourself to such people. The order has no honor, no principles, no humanity. Yet they sit on a great many of England's thrones. If you seek to pacify England for the safety of your clan, then it may be in my interest to give you aid. I understand. You desire alliances. We seek to rid England of its deepening rot. Where these hopes meet, our cause does too. You may think this land ruled by harmless jarls and bumbling thanes, yet look more closely and you will find a deeper threat. The Order's invisible hand touches all. It shapes everything and sends it poison into every level of society. From the loneliest fishmonger to the richest merchants, from wealthy thanes to useless kings. Bassam has given me one task here to locate and eliminate the Order of Ancients in England in whatever dark corners they reside. If we work together towards this end, it will benefit us both. You will have greater influence over the kingdoms of England. And you will have more medallions to count. Exactly. You should begin in London. I have credible reports that the Order is working now to seize the city. I will speak with Ranbury about this. And is that really how they there, spelled London back the then? Lookout for our symbol. Centuries ago, the Hidden Ones had bureaus built around England. There were six, I believe. If you can find them, Search them well for documents bearing the same symbol. It will greatly aid my studies. I will. Thank you, Adam. For all of this. 
Order of the Ancients. The Order of the Ancients is a secret society of pagans that has infiltrated every level of society to spread their dogmatic worldview. To root them out, clues can be found across the world. Zealots. Zealots are hired mercenaries that assist their order and enforce their decrees. Fighting and eliminating them would provide clues on the identity of order members. When villain eliminate. Order Heredity members have a assassinating a Platunus or Priost will provide intel on their Mia Jester and eventually reveal the grand Mia Jester of the order. These these are some weird ass names, dude. Okay. I'm kind of getting it. Not completely, but I'm getting some of it. Okay. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot on this channel and making better video for videos for you guys every single day. I love you all, and I'll see you all in the next one.